my dear toastmasters guests and friends welcome to the world's biggest platform for honing your leadership skills and communication skills toastmasters where leaders are made not just leaders confident leaders not just speakers confident speakers on our talk show open heart with this 31 we have a confident leader and a confident speaker a toastmaster who has been my mentor who has been the past public relations manager at this point you would have guessed my guest for tonight show it is none another than our past district public relations manager toastmaster berry toastmaster berry how are you doing good thank you very much veer for having me on tonight thank you for accepting our invite Toastmaster Berry, I ask all my friends this first question: Why did you join Toastmasters? Where did it start? How did it start? Would you like to share your Toastmasters journey with us? I would love to share my journey with you. It's actually quite interesting because my manager saw me at a meeting that I had to lead. I was not comfortable. leading that meeting with 32 people in person and 40 on the phone. A few months later, she in writing put, "I recommend Barry participate in Toastmasters." The interesting part about this is she used to be a Toastmaster and she felt it wasn't for her. And and that's okay. There are some people they don't feel it's for them and I think that's fine. And when I asked her about Toastmasters, she said, "Well, I don't know if it's for you, but you get some benefit out of this." So I was a little confused on why she was recommending me. And I went to a meeting, and then I went to another. And next thing you know, I was taking on an officer role. I was starting to give speeches it took a few months but i found that i enjoyed it thank you tosmas berry that is such an opportunity that one of your past managers suggested and you took over that opportunity now tosmas berry what was the impact of tosmas on your personal life professional life social and spiritual life like many others and i'm pretty sure it's been said here before we're all introverts when we join toastmasters and as a child i was very outgoing something happened i don't know what happened and all of a sudden i'm an introvert and i enjoyed that after toastmasters i found i could balance what i'm talking about So instead of oversharing because I can't get the social cues or undersharing, I've been able to find that perfect balance and it's helped me grow personally and be able to talk to other people without feeling as if am I oversharing? Am I undersharing? Am I saying the right thing? So it's given me that confidence personally, professionally. within a year after joining Toastmasters I got my first promotion and then after 2 years I got my next congratulations and I have got my third promotion so it's there's a lot of benefit and now we're at the point where I'm meeting with my manager and she's saying we have to find something else for you to do but you don't have time so we have to figure out how to get you time so you can move forward in your career amazing toastmasters very the leadership opportunity that toastmasters translating in promotion after promotion after promotion at your workplace that is truly transformational skills that you learned at toastmasters thank you for sharing that toastmasters very there is a reason why you joined toastmasters there would be a reason what keeps you at toastmasters can you share what are you still in toastmasters for and what keeps you motivated to go to another meeting go to the next meeting and take up leadership opportunities it's a camaraderie is what i found so when i first joined i joined at my company club 
And we did get a club coach. We were low on membership. And I found another mentor through that relationship. And I ended up joining their club. So now I'm a member of two clubs. So I'll give a shout out to Broadcaster Toastmasters and Mill City Toastmasters. And it wasn't until I really started serving on the district level beyond, well, with area, but beyond that, I started making new connections and I found the camaraderie as a division director, as public relations manager. And it was amazing. I also ended up mentoring a new club and I still go to their meetings every now and then because it's such a great, it's, it's a family. That's what Toastmasters is. If you were to say one word, I would say we're a family. Thank you for sharing that Toastmaster, Betty. The camaraderie, as you rightly pointed, is so amazing. And as you know, it's like a family feeling. Whenever you, we meet in district conferences or TLIs, it's like long lost friends meeting <laughs> after a long time. So thank yes. you for sharing that, Toastmaster Berry. Toastmaster Berry, now we have a couple of our guests who are watching this talk show who are not yet Toastmasters. What would you say two reasons for them to consider Toastmasters in your view? I would say it's just a great place to grow and to be yourself because we're accepting. It doesn't matter if you have that $100,000 car or you took the bus. We don't care because it's not about how you look or the things that you have. It's the person inside. And that's a message that we're really trying to put out there, at least what I've seen that we're more than just, we're gonna teach you how to speak well and confidently and grow your leadership skills. It's more than that. It's a feeling of acceptance. And again, the camaraderie, I just, I can't get over that. Thank you, Toastmaster Berry. Dear Toastmasters, then please come down to any Toastmasters club. We always have Mill City Toastmasters, which Toastmaster Berry is part of. And make the most of Toastmasters is to offer everyone. Thank you, Toastmaster Berry. Toastmaster Berry, now we enter our rapid fire round. Are you excited for some fun? Yes, I am. A little nervous. <laughs> Thank you, Toastmaster Berry. Toastmaster Berry, a book that you like to recommend to our Toastmasters? Any book uh, that comes to your mind? I am not an avid reader. However, I have made the decision to open up my Bible every morning. So, and not everybody is religious and I think that's okay. But if you are, if you find that you go to church, it's just a nice thing to do to get inspiration. And I found quite a bit of inspiration to help me throughout my days. Thank you, Toastmaster Berry, for sharing that. Anything that you'd like to share today that you've read from the book, from the Holy Book? Oh, there are so many things that I've read. Right now, I'm actually going through Proverbs, and I find it's a little difficult because it's not that traditional Bible story that you hear of. There are a lot of different things, and at one point, I think I said, there was one proverb and it kind of sticks out. It's in there a few times where it will say that a man is better to stay on the corner side of the roof than to be in the house with a, I'm not sure of the correct word, but it was a translation would be a mean or angry woman slash wife. So it is better to stay away from that mad wife if you've angered her. I thought that was hysterical. There's a sense of humor in some of these, right? <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Toastmaster Berry. Toastmaster Berry, a food that is very close to your palate, you know, a comfort food which you like to eat. Oh, that would be Chinese food. My mother is half Chinese and we grew up, we'd only have it sparingly at the house because she worked and three kids, she didn't want to have to do it all the time. But Chinese food is something that I absolutely love. I want to learn how to cook. I know a few dishes, but I really want to start expanding on that soon. Amazing, amazing choice, Christmas Berry. 
हिस्टोरिक लीडर दैट इंस्पायर्स यू अ लॉट कुछ मत बताइए एनी हिस्टोरिक लीडर दैट कम्स टू माइंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द पर्सनल रूट हियर विद माय ग्रैंडमदर माय ग्रैंडमदर ग्रू अप शी वाज वेरी सिक एज अ चाइल्ड एंड एट वन पॉइंट इन हर लाइफ शी सेड I want to be a missionary and this is back she was born in 1899 so this is way back and she her husband had just died she wasn't married and the mission board said hmm no you can't be a missionary because you're a woman and you're single and she said oh yeah i don't think so and she raised the funds she brought herself to china no support somebody had mentioned oh Here's a piece of paper, give it to this person. They'll tell you where you can stay for a night. And if it wasn't for that, she never would have met the man she must have married in in China because it was taboo back then. Uh and she had my mother. So just because she said, "Oh, because I'm a woman, I can't be a missionary." I don't think so. And she took charge. So for me that's very inspirational. Truly leadership to master very no. something is stopped you know try to find ways to overcome that and she overcome that thank you for sharing that your own personal speech to smells very when you prepared it when you delivered it you felt i did a great job any speech that comes to mind oh there are there are so many speeches and i think that we all feel we do a great job and we do but there's always that room for improvement so for me a great speech is where can i improve and one that i recently gave was titled a moment in time and it was a time where my mother was in china there was a war going on um, and it was a story that she had told me and i just found it very inspirational so i i'm not going to go into that too much only because i would like to practice it more so maybe next year i can participate in the speech contest thank you for sharing that to us very personal speeches are one of the favorite speeches to give because there's a personal story and you give it from the heart so thank you for sharing that to us much a very a uh, vacation spot that you like to visit or you already visited anything that comes to mind my family i've always done family vacations and We have been going to the White Mountains for a few years and my parents actually retired up there. Right. So I do enjoy going there in the summer when it's warmer. Because I have a free place to stay. Although I have to say at one point I decided because I've always taken vacation with my family, which is really my parents, my sister, my brother, yeah. And then my daughter when she was younger. I thought I've never taken a vacation for just myself and gone somewhere by myself. And this is a few years after I started Toastmasters. And one thing I will say is pre-Toastmasters, I never would have done this. I never would have had the confidence. And I looked at everything and I said, "Okay, the bills are paid. I have a little extra money." And I called a friend and I said, "I'm coming to California." "Oh, with who? By myself." And I went <laughs> My daughter said, "You're not going to California by yourself." And I did. I just picked up. I had somebody watch the cats. I said, "I'll see you later." And I left for 2 weeks. And it was an amazing experience. And I never again, I never would have done that before Toastmasters. I would not have had the confidence. Thank you for sharing that Toastmasters Perry. Now this comes to an end to our rapid fire round. Christmas berry is there anything else that you'd like to share with artistic that I have not yet asked I'm going to recommend a restaurant for everybody back near the Chelmsford Lowell area because I've moved to the western side of Massachusetts although I'm still part of district 31 cuz we rock <laughs> There is a restaurant right on the Chelmsford Lowell line called Feng Shui and you can go upstairs and you can have hibachi and i absolutely love the hibachi place i had been going for years and then when the pandemic hit i got a craving for chinese food 
but nobody was open around me that delivered. So I used one of those neighbor apps and I found Feng Shui in Chelmsford actually was delivering to Bill Ricca. And they have their own app. I said, this is for me. And I was, I was hooked, I was addicted. So I will put that out there. If you're in the Chelmsford Lowell area and you like Chinese food, go to Feng Shui, they're amazing. And I, apparently there's one in Burlington. I haven't been to that one, but there is one in Burlington. Feng Shui, we'll definitely check that out and have a good time there. Thank you, Toastmaster Perry. On that note, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you choose to come down and talk to us. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, Toastmaster Perry. Thank you again, Vera, for having me. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. Dear Toastmasters, uh, that's a quick wrap on our talk show. If you would like to come and talk to us on our talk show, please do mention your name in our comment section and we'll make sure to invite you on our talk show. If you would like to invite your friends on our talk show, please do let us know and we'll make sure to invite them. Please consider supporting our District 31 by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Your subscription, your likes, your shares motivate us to create more content for our club for our district, for our areas. So please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and supporting us. On that note, stay safe, enjoy the winters, and we'll talk to you on our next episode. Until then, bye-bye.